hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel and in this session we'll be dealing with the transform widget in flutter so in any of the flutter app whatever the complex animation they make the basic or the foundation what it takes is this transform widget and this transform widget it actually allow us to just make use of three transitions one is translate and another is scale and another is rotate so here I have these three stars which are distinguished with three different colors. The blue indicates the translate and green for scale and orange for rotate. So as said before this blue is for translate. It allows us to just make the widget, any flutter widget to move in either of the X or Y axis depending on the event. So I have this on press event which I have written the code for translate. If you just click on the left arrow then I'll be just decrementing the x-axis by the factor of 5 so you can see it is moving in the left axis similarly for the right you just need to add up the factor of 5 to make it move on the right right direction which is the x-axis similarly for up you need to just toggle the transition for the y-axis in a positive manner and for getting it down you just toggle the y-axis uh, you just need to reduce the y-axis okay so this is all about the translate and next what we have here is the scale so this scaling will allow us to just enlarge or just decrease the size of any flutter widget here what I have made is that I will be just enlarging the widget size and again after it's it has reached the scale factor that is at threshold I will be just shrinking it back to its original size so this is just the basic idea of the scaling and next what we have here is the rotate so as the name suggests it will be allowing us to rotate any flutter widget so the rotating angle can be either 0 so it can start from 0 to 360 or 180 based upon the user preferences okay so this is all about the basics of translations what you can make use of in flutter app okay so with this idea let us move on to the coding part of how to make use of this individual transitions one by one all right here i got the ui ready okay and i have also defined few set of variables which we will be making use of in the later part which is the variables to track the x and y coordinates and another variable to keep track of the scaling factor and at last we just need to just increment the rotating angle for that i will be making use of this my angle or variable okay first first is the translate okay so this widget will be just uh, is responsible for building up this blue star which is the translate so here you see this icon which is this blue star and followed by this column widget which is just this arrow buttons okay this icon buttons i have just wrapped it in a column wise manner and this is the simple ui stuff okay what we need to move is this blue star okay and for making that icon or that widget to just translate we just need to wrap that widget inside transform dot translate okay Okay. right this transform translate will be taking the parameter which is the offset and this offset is is what will be taking the coordinates which is the x and y axis so in as said before at the top we have just defined the translate x and translate y parameters uh, we can just make use of that and pass those in say this offset value okay so as of now we have just wrapped this star blue star and say this transform the translate function sorry the widget okay by wrapping so then you will be able to move this widget whatever direction you specify as of now we haven't provided any on press event over this icon buttons so let's move on to that part of rendering that logic so um, here you see this is the up arrow 
which I will be passing as the parameter as one. So the parameter for moving up is one, two, three, and four. Okay. So this translate function, let's move on to that one. Here I have this separated the logic for moving those in different coordinates. One denotes moving up, two in the right direction, and three down and four in the left direction. Okay. And for moving that, we just need to just update the coordinates. That is the translate x and translate y. First, for case one, which is moving the object in the upward direction, you just need to update the translate y coordinate. Okay, that variable. It is for moving up. You just need to reduce the y value. Okay. If you now press this, you can see the object is moving upward. Okay. Uh, for corresponding buttons, we can just specify the same. For in case two, that is the moving object in right direction, you just need to update the translate x variable. All right. Now you can see that the widget is moving in the right direction. Similarly, you can just uh, make it move down by updating the translate y but the changes you need to add that factor okay you can see it is moving down right and the remaining thing which is left over is moving it in the left direction so you can just reduce that now save it yeah now you can see all the buttons are working fine you can just translate the object in any of the direction or coordinates you need now we have just completed that transform translate transition now let's move on to the screen part which is the scale okay here is what we have the scale transform.scale similarly just like transform.translate we just need to wrap this icon that is the green star icon with the transform dot scale okay and this transform dot scale will be taking the parameter which is the scale factor okay as we have just defined above it can just make use of that scale factor now and inside this text button we just need to uh, update the scale factor alone and that function is here so inside this scale factor the logic what we need to have is as seen in the previous demo the object needs to just um, enlarge to a certain factor and after that it should just shrink to its normal original size so that is the logic we need to write over here and for that first we can just concentrate on enlarging that icon to that scaling factor just increase the icon size first okay and for that let me make use of a for loop and the maximum extent it can just enlarge is a factor of 30 30 pixels okay and I need that transition to be a smooth one so it should not just happen in a single second so if you if you just uh, make it do so then you won't be able to see that smoothness in your transition or animation so for that I will be just providing a custom delay function just to make um, or visualize that in our own eyes I will be making use of this delay which will be taking the duration and the duration what I will be specifying is in terms of milliseconds and it's 25 milliseconds okay and once this 25 milliseconds is just over I will be updating the states where I will be setting the scale factor just increasing the scale factor by 0.1 okay as I am using a white you just need to make use of a sync right now we have just uh, enlarged that object size alone uh, so the next step what we need to do is to string string that to back to its original size and for that you can just 
copy the same thing just paste it once again and the changes instead of plus you just need to add minus over there okay now you can see the object just enlarges and shrinks back to its original size now we have just completed that translate and scale now we can move on to the rotate here is what we have the rotate icon the rotate the orange star over here similarly just like the above we can just wrap it over transform dot rotate and just like the previous one the parameter what it takes is the angle okay the angle is my angle which we have defined above okay and inside this text text button the on press event we have this rotate function we'll be calling this rotate function which is again the same as that of the previous one so can make use of that make it async and duration is all the same just change the scale factor to my angle instead of decrementing just keep incrementing uh, by adding plus we can just make it rotate in the clockwise if you have it minus then it will be rotating it in anti-clockwise direction all right okay this is all the basics of the transform widget what we have in flutter so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so kindly please do subscribe and i'll be just visiting you back in the next video bye